top caravans have been with us for as long as anyone can remember. And Ariba is probably the best known and certainly the most distinctive of them all. This is the latest of the breed, the Troll 530, and it really does tick all the Ariba boxes. The styling, which has barely changed in over 50 years, remains broadly the same. It really does look like an airstream that's shrunk in the wash thanks to its silver sides and exposed rivet heads. The build quality is pretty much the same too, and that's a very good thing. Thump the front panel on this caravan and it really does feel like it's made from solid metal. And that's not quite so far from the truth because underneath it has a tubular steel frame, which helps with build quality, rigidity, and makes it a breeze to tow out on the roads. The question is, is it a good caravan to holiday in for long periods of time? There's only one way to find out. Climb aboard and straight away there's a problem. Only the vertically challenged can actually stand up straight in here. But that's not a problem. Simply pull on these catches, lift up the roof, and voila, you've got loads of additional light, space, and importantly, headroom. Best of all though, these flaps on the side skirting allows some of the outside to come inside, but keeps the mosquitoes out. Very clever. A word of warning though, this extended headroom only extends so far, specifically to the end of this back dinette. I can pretty much guarantee you'll bash your head on this bulkhead several times before you remember to duck. And yes, I am speaking from personal experience. Once you're ensconced in this rear dinette though, it really does feel like it's been worth all the effort. That and the slight headache you've probably just incurred. It's very bright and welcoming in here with this fawn upholstery and profusion of three large windows. It's well lit here after dark too. Three lots of lights are all touch sensitive and flood the area with lights even when it's dark. Ultimate lounging capacity is a bit compromised though. It really does feel as though there ought to be additional backrests in the corners. But on the good side, this table is absolutely huge. You can certainly fit four people around it at dinner time, and it lifts, folds and slides from side to side to make getting in and out that much easier. You don't need to be a genius to figure out that the Ariba Trolls front dinette is quite a bit smaller than the one at the back. This is very much an area for two people only. It can feel just a little hemmed in in here at first glance too. There are no side windows, and this washroom wall does make the occupants of this side of the van feel a bit hemmed in. Interestingly though, this is actually a very nice place to be, and it's all down to these trademark front bay windows. They've been a part of the Ariba's design for years and years, and it's not hard to see why. They open up a simply huge amount of space, and they look great. There are a couple of other nice little surprises in here too. We weren't expecting to find a PowerPoint in here, for instance. And these bulkhead storage bins are big enough to hold all manner of books, magazines and newspapers. In a caravan as small as this, you'd rather expect the resident chef to feel a bit short changed but in reality, nothing could be further from the truth. Admittedly, worktop space is a little on the short side, even with this nifty little flap brought into play and there's certainly no room for an oven or a grill. There is, however, room for a two burner hob and it gets spark ignition as well. And we do love this charmingly retro Dometic fridge, which can hold 70 litres and even has a box freezer fitted too. Storage space is good in here too. These roof lockers are almost completely clutter free. And there's even room in this lower locker for a few odds and ends, despite the fact that the dinky little fresh water tank is in there as well. Right, I think it's time to have a look in the washroom. It might come as a pleasant surprise to discover that the Ariba Troll has a pretty good washroom. Okay, it's a little bit small in there, but it really does have all the essential kit. There's a bench type loo, the wash basin tap doubles as a shower riser, and even the shower tray is a very good size. It's well lit in there too. There's a couple of spotlights and a frosted opaque window. And there appears to be little knick-knack shelves, cupboards and drawers almost everywhere you look. It's very impressive. And we do love the way this vanity mirror rises and falls with the roof. To be honest, making up the beds in this little caravan is a bit of a faff. And particularly at the rear where you have to do battle with metal poles and a folding table base. But in truth, the resultant double is big enough for most average sized adults and it's very comfortable. 
The third berth up front is much easier to make up, thankfully, and is ideal for a child, allowing mum and dad to carry on relaxing long after lights out. There really is much to like about this new Ariba Troll 530. It's beautifully made and engineered, looks the business, and with the right tow car should be a breeze to tow out on the roads too. It's surprisingly grown up inside as well with its proper washroom, good kitchen and spacious front and rear dinettes. There are however a couple of issues. That tubular steel frame we mentioned earlier does rather pile on the weight. This little caravan in fact weighs 1300 kilograms all in, although it does have a very generous payload allowance. And there is another elephant in the room and frankly there's no easy way of putting this so I'll just come right on out with it. This little caravan costs, as near as makes no difference, £19,600. By any stretch of the imagination that's an awful lot of money for quite a small caravan. However, here's the rub. What you're paying for here is engineering excellence throughout with no compromise, not marketing fluff. If you can look past the price, and admittedly that might be difficult, this really is a superb little caravan.